We've spoken a lot about values, Ivan, so I want to get into the values of BNI and we'll start with the pivotal one for me, which is giver's gain. What does giver's gain mean? Well, to me, giver's gain is more than a phrase. It's a way of living one's life. It's a perspective to view and interact with the world. Uh, it's an attitude, not an expectation. And when it's applied properly, it'll change your life. And when it changes enough lives, it'll change the world. It's about helping other people so they will help you in return. So it's seek first to serve and then good things will come later is what I'm hearing. But yeah. I like what you just said about it being applicable to your life. It's not just about business. Isn't that what correct? Friends, isn't that what friendship's all about? Isn't that what family is, is all about? Yeah. It is. And that's one of the reasons why I think BNI has worked as well as it has, is that it's all about building the relationships. And when you have the relationships, you want to help each other. Hmm. Coming back to leadership lessons then, how do you think a leader out there, let's say a team leader, senior manager, how do they embrace givers gain for good effect with the team that they lead? So I, I stumbled into the answer uh, as a very young man um, when I was, uh, I was working at a transportation company in downtown Los Angeles. It was my first day on the job. The president who hired me <clears throat> was hired kind of to be a hatchet man because the, they needed to clean house. And I was in a new role. So everybody just assumed that I would be you know, setting people up for being fired which wasn't the case, but they didn't believe, you know how it is in companies, they just they just thought they'd get fired. So uh, my boss wasn't around for three days. My first three days on the job, he wasn't there because he was at uh, Senate hearings and assembly hearings at, in Sacramento. So I'm, I, I'm like, I have no idea what to do. And when the boss comes back, if I say I just sat here and looked at the Hollywood sign out of my window, I'd get in trouble. So I had to figure out what to do. So what I did was I walked around. This is the answer to your question. I walked around to each department head and I sat down with them. And at first they were all kind of freaked out because they were worried that, you know, I was setting them up. And I said, just, I'm new. Just tell me what you do and how you do it. And, you know, this is long before the internet, long before, uh, you know, uh, we could just read about it online. So they, they told me what they did. And to a person, what I said to them, and here's the answer to your question. I said, once they explained their department and the challenges they had and what was working, I said, how can I help you? And they said, what? I said, how can I help you? I, look, I don't know that I can promise that I can help you. This is a new job for me. But um, I, I, if I know what it is that you need, at least I'm aware of how I might be able to help you. Completely changed their attitude about me. Uh, and they didn't view me as somebody who was coming in to get rid of them. They viewed me as someone who was coming in to help them. And that's what a leader does, is they help their team members be successful. So make your intentions clear. The second one, Ivan, is I'm hearing that you ask, you ask better questions. You ask the right questions. And the third one was the servant leadership, that I'm here to help you. I'm not here to hinder you. My success is on the back of your success. So I'm here to help, yeah. I'm here to help you, not hinder you. So give us gain, uh, and I think there's something in that for all of us as leaders to think about, not just from a B and I and business point of view. Give us gain as a, a way to live our lives, the way to lead our teams, and yes, the way to lead our businesses. Mm -hmm.